Namaste, myself is Dr. Saroj Shah, I am the Deputy Medical Superintendent of Ahilya Ayurveda Medical College Hospital. You must be aware of Ahilya Group. Ahilya Group is famous in the education sector as well as in the industrial health sector. And the education sector, we have got several, health, several institutions. Ahilya School of Pharmacy, Ahilya School of Engineering, Ahilya School of Optometry, Ahilya School of Management and of course Ahilya Ayurveda Medical College. Under health sector, we have got several institutions, Ahilya Diabetes Hospital, Ahilya Women and Children Hospital, Ahilya Eye Hospital, Ahilya Ayurveda Medical College Hospital. Apart from this, we conduct several social programs. For example, we say conduct medical camps, health awareness programs and also conduct stress management sessions through yogic techniques. Stress has become a fancy term because men have forgotten the art of managing his mind. Nowadays, people of all ages, irrespective of what they do, feel stressed. That is why Government of India is promoting yoga as an effective method to de-stress. Now we have got yoga for corporates, yoga for businessmen, teachers, professionals, engineers, students and so on. Ahilya also provides yoga for industries, known as industrial yoga. The theme of industrial yoga is not for attaining spiritual salvation, but for increasing the efficiency and productivity of the employees in their work. Yoga has become a mainstream, not because all of a sudden people have a mystical urge to become holy. Rather, because the stress level of a modern lifestyle has reached a tipping point. Yoga can certainly help to reduce stress. Before I go on into the subject, let us try to understand the importance of yoga. Today, we are living in the era of 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. Now 6G is also developed. They say it's 22 times faster than 5G. We have gone to Chandrayaan, Mangalyaan and so on. We are sending rockets to Venus and we will be sending another satellite to Sun, known as Mission Aditya. In 2024, we'll be doing that. We're also going to send another version of Vikram Lander in 2021. We have got the capability to destroy a live satellite. DODO has launched the Shakti missiles. We are living in the era of robotic surgery. What do you mean by robotic surgery? Two different surgeries are performed simultaneously in two different continents without the help of a doctor. Robots perform surgery through satellite communications. So science and technology is growing at such a rapid pace. In such a fast moving scenario, what is the necessity to study a subject which is more than 5,000 years old? Yoga is a science which is more than 5,000 years old. How is it relevant in the present context? How is it, why should we waste our time in studying this outdated science? You must be wondering. You must be aware that there are certain truths which are universal, all pervading and everlasting. For example, the law of gravitation. What do you mean by the law of gravitation? It is a force which pulls things downwards. Anything you throw up is pulled down. You throw a stone, it is pulled down. If you would have thrown a stone 5,000 years before, it goes down. Even after 5,000 years, if you throw a stone, it goes down. So the law of gravitation prevails as long as Earth exists. Similarly, the teachings of Yoga Shastra are universal, all-pervading and everlasting. Because this science has got the ability to dissect you into pieces. This science has got the ability to penetrate into your consciousness. So as long as there is mankind, the teachings of this Yoga Shastra prevails. Now, Yoga is not a religion. It is a pure science, just like physics, chemistry, mathematics. Physics has got no religion. Just because Christians have discovered the laws of physics doesn't mean that physics is a Christian. It is accidental that Hindus have discovered the principles of Yoga. Yoga is a pure science and Patanjali is the greatest name as far as the world of Yoga is concerned. This man is rare. This man is a phenomenon. For the first time in the history of humanity, he has brought religion to the status of science. He has made religion a science, pure laws, no belief is needed. All religions are same, but the beliefs are different. A Hindu has got his own belief, a Christian has got his own belief, and a Mohammedan has got his own belief. But yoga has got no belief. Yoga says to experience, just as science says to experiment. Experience and experiment are both one and the same. Experiment means what you do something outside. Experience means what you do something inside. In fact, experience is an experiment. Science says, don't believe, doubt as much as you can, but also don't disbelieve, because disbelief is also another type of belief. You may believe in God, you may believe in concept of no God. Atheist or theist, both are beliefs. So to conclude, you can say that yoga is existential, experimental and experiential. This is enough for today. Thank you.